your hospital release. And the three-day pass, you lucky stiff. Thanks. Now, don't get lost. Manila's a big city. Okay, Mother. Just don't wait up for me, huh? Where to, Captain? Downtown? Yes, sir. I heard they might declare Manila an open city. Yeah, that's the way it looks, all right. sooner. Hi, honey. Merry Christmas. Hey, I brought something for you. Merry Christmas. I should crack this over your thick skull. I let you get away with murder. How much my son? Three weeks. For three weeks I tried to see you. To see what? To see this? It could have been worse. Not for me. The hell good is a man with one hand? I can't even tie my own shoes. Fourteen years and in one split second I'm a freak. Oh, stop it. The doctors can work miracles. They can't give me back a hand. There must be a place for you, John. Sure. When I change the rules, every man fights with one hand tied behind his back. Oh, come on, you're impossible. Some ice. <laughs> Pretty girl by the toe. Meeny, meeny, Catch your pretty girl by the toe. Hey, you're it. You're a big boy now. You don't play on the floor. Wow. What a head. Hey, how'd I how'd I get here? Never mind. Here's some black coffee. What is it? Get down. Just got here. MacArthur's evacuating Manila. What? Catch the next launch to the base. Okay. Okay, Mother. Got to report back to base. Manila is surrendering. All U.S. personnel are to pull out immediately. Oh, no, John. When will we ever see each other again? I wish I could answer that. Good morning, Captain. Mander aboard? Down below, sir. Hi, cowboy. You miserable character. When'd you get in? A minute ago. Where are you heading with a pea shooter? Ah, I got a milk run to make. Mind if I tag along? I can sure use some fresh air. You'd get your fresh air, and I'd get my tail in the sling. Hey! Hey, you got your shipping order down to Colonel's office. You'll be heading home now. 
something gets out of here. Yeah, that's great. Captain John Larson, U.S. Marine Corps, retired. Combat service? None. Fourteen years, what a crock. The ship's ready whenever you are, sir. Okay, I'll be ready in about ten minutes. I'll see you when I get back tonight. And stay away from that nurse of mine while I'm gone. Coffee? Black? Black. There you are. Okay, you win. Where are you headed? Down the coast of Luzon. What's the mission? Pick up. Army officer parachuted out of a plane. Top brass? Brigadier General. The guy that wants to make sure the Japs don't grab him. And he's a personal friend of General Paul. Ah, uh, West Point. Any Japs where you're going? Uh, the latest reports say it's still clear. This general was rescued by a kind of a half-bandit character by the name of Santana. It's more of a kidnapping if you ask me. Though. Oh, how so? He's asking 5,000 American dollars for the cost of the operation. $5,000? Wow. Who's picking up the tab? The Army. No kidding. I got it right here. Hey, uh, buddy, uh, I'm a little crap game, huh? The place, all right. Probably in the bus waiting for us. What time are you supposed to meet him? Now. Here, take a look. Looks like it's them, all right. So ready, Skipper? Aye, aye, sir. could take a couple of men ashore and try to contact Santana. All you'd contact a belly full of Japanese lead. They want the general pretty bad, Captain. Yeah. Hold on, sailor. I'm expendable. With that, with that hand, sir? Drop me off a couple miles down the coast, fast. I'll send two of my men along with you. No nursemaids. Give me three days to find this Santana. I'll meet you here on the third night at 2200. If I'm not here then, return the next night at 2300. Hold it, Captain. Take this. You may need it. Thanks. Good luck, Captain.
Magandang hapon po naman. Magandang hapon po naman. I'm American. American? Where, uh, um, San Si, uh, Santana. Santana? Yeah, Santana, gorilla. Nariya sa bundok, doon, ang bundok. The mountains? Right up, right up across there, huh? Oh, sa bundok. Salamat po. Salamat. Kapitan <laughs> Captain, Captain, forgive my men. They are stupid peasants. Get their greasy mitts off of me. <laughs> In your position, Captain, how could you command me? Hmm? The Marines know I'm here, Santana. Under those circumstances, I believe it would be better for us to be friends, huh? What do you want? At your service, Santana. Patriot. Patriot, professional kidnapper and bounty hunter. I heard this joker. What is my ransom pegged at, Santana? Five thousand dollars for a general? Thousand for a captain? Enlisted men must be dirt cheap, huh? Captain, you grieve me. I love Americans. We are like brothers. Sure. You'd love anybody for money. A man must leave. Uh, I believe that is addressed to me, huh? Only our delivery of General Fuller. Not one minute sooner. Why weren't you at that pier yesterday? The Japanese were there first. Who tipped them off? Captain, you are a very suspicious man. 
Why should I go to the Japanese when you are paying me 5,000 American dollars? Maybe they made you a better offer. Captain, how can I convince you that I can be trusted? When the mission is completed. Now, where is he? Oh, a terrible luck. We almost had him. Ay, ay, ay. What do you mean, almost? You mean you never had him? Oh, no. We had him for a while, but too many Japanese. Some things you cannot help. Fortunes of war. We went into that rendezvous point like sitting ducks. An American officer was killed. I'll light a candle for him the next time I will be here, Chuck. Get this straight, Santana. I want that general and no more double talk, see? My friend, you are too patient. We will get it him. There must be plans. All right, make them. They are holding him at the sugar center. Adolf, Mr. Rodriguez is the manager of the sugar central before the Japanese took over. A uh, captain, we overlooked your name. Larson. Adolf Rodriguez, captain. You had an accident? Regrettable. Don't let it bother you, Santana. I can take care of myself. Manila. Me too. Oh? I have been to Manila Hotel many times. And the officer's club. Funny, I never met you. You married, maybe? No. You have girls? <laughs> hey, you will, Manila? Fourteen years. What are you doing in Manila? Where you go? Oh, here and there. Christina's? Ah, girls are beautiful there. Me? I could get a job there. I can see where you could. Thank you, Captain. Larson. Lolita. Lolita Smith. Are you going back to Manila soon? I don't think any of us will be going back there for a while. You shouldn't have any trouble. Manila's been declared an open city. But there's no boat. There's no way to go back. I'll be heading for Corregidor myself. Hey, Captain, I go with you, okay? Captain, you see, I'm a part American. I see. Well, I, uh, I don't think it would be possible to take you with me. This is not really my home. I only came here when a relative died. I'm afraid there isn't much I could do about that, Miss Smith. Captain, I'm not just a Filipino. I told you I'm part American. Sure. Look, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Now, if you don't mind, Miss Smith, I, I've got to meet Santana and Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you, Captain. We have prepared this crude map, but I think it will serve your purpose. We are here, about 45 kilometers from the central. This is the central area, and this is where the general is being held, the man you look for. The central being operated now? Well, the Japanese are trying to operate. They got to find some kind of fuel, alcohol. What are the routes into the central? The road is heavily guarded, but this railroad runs through the whole plantation. Before the Japanese, it was used for transporting the sugar. We're going to have to scout this railroad. Bakit nandun na nangyari dyan, ha? Ayaw! 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 Ay
What's wrong? Aye, Captain, I'm very sorry. This old man is trying to get out of the bargain. I paid for his miserable pigs. He pays the Japanese pesos. Mickey Mouse money. The Mickey Mouse? Santana's already taken four other pigs belonging to him and pays in worthless pesos. That's true, Santana. Aye, Captain. Fortunes of war. We have no other money. Miss Smith, ask him if he'll take American dollars for this pig and the other four that Santana took. Kung gusto rin niyo siyong ibabayaran kayo ni Kapitan ng dolar. Sabihin mo sa kanya, ito hindi na niya suliranin. He feels embarrassed that you are so concerned. Well, he needn't be. Here's $25. Ask him if that'll cover it. Kung tama na raho ito siyong. Hindi na. Sabihin mo sa kanya, hindi na niya ito suliranin. Sige na ho. Kunin niya na ho. Sige na. Take it. Oh, mga bata. Dali niyo baboy doon sa pantalon. Sige, dali. Sabihin mo sa kanila eh, inaasahan ko mami ang gabi sa bahay. He would like to have dinner at his home this evening. I'm afraid that's not possible. Thank him. He would be terribly offended. We will have plenty of time. Tell him it's okay. Sinatanggap ng kapitan ang inyong anyaya, Chong. Bueno, inaasahan ko kayong dalawa, mami ha, sa bahay. Paalam na po. What did he say? Well, he is expecting both of us, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Don't mind translating. I'm sorry about this unpleasantness, Captain. Uh-huh. That's $25 less I owe you, Santana. The fortunes of war. In a way. Miss Smith, I'll see you later. Yes, Captain. Rodriguez, let's take a look at that track. At your convenience, Captain. Why the rope? Oh, uh, the cliff. We climbed down. You never mentioned this before? I, I forgot. There is another way. Is that true, Santana? Yes, but it's too far from here. We'll have to go back halfway to the barrier. Okay, you proved your point, Santana. Hmm? You know what I mean. Perhaps if we helped you? No, I'll wait here for you. You can still go. Get back as soon as you can. by just after we got there. What's the layout? There's no rust on the rail. That means the train goes to at least once a day. It's loaded with supplies. How about soldiers? Twelve. Two engineers. Good. We'll be on our way tomorrow. Tomorrow? So soon? Time is one thing we don't have much of. The train's our answer. Let's go. Thank you. 
Gandang gabi nga man. Pwede kayo, kasi pasitan. Sila ho ang aking may bahay. His wife. Ito. And it's been the grandchild. Umupo kayo, kapitan. Like this, Captain. That's in memory of his older son and his wife, the baby's parents. They were both killed in the Japanese London. Tell him I'm sorry. But I hope the war will end soon. Nakikirama ang Kapitan Chong sa pagkamatay ng kuya. Salamat. Siya man yan na pinsala sa digma. He speaks of your hand in the mysteries of war. Ang nakakuyum sa kanyang puso ay siyang tinutukoy ko. He says, the real pain must be in your heart. Uminom tayo, Kapitan. Ikaw ba siya sa'yo? Ha? Eh, hindi ho, Chong. Naku. Kaibigan ko lang, ha? Oo. Oh, hindi ka nagbabago. Ang Chong naman pala ay biro, eh. Napakaganda mo ngayon. Bagay na bagay siya sa'yo. Chong, nakakaya, ha? <laughs> Wala kang pinagbabago. Naku. Pag nagkataon-taon, marami akong apong mistisyo. What did he say? He talks about me. I tell you later. Ate, gusto ko maging sundalo, katulad niya, para labanan ko yung mga hapon na yan. Bata ka pa. Ba, kaya ko nang humayok ng barel eh. He wants to be a soldier like you, and fight the Japanese. A good farmer is as important as a soldier. Ako na ho, Chang. Ako na ho, Chang. Kaya nga naman eh, mga bisita kayo eh. What did the farmer say about you? He asked if I was your woman. Oh? What did you tell him? That we are friends. Uh-huh. Is that all? He says, we make fine couple. Uh-huh. We make fine mysterious children. Yes, we would at that. When I was a little girl, I used to play all over this field with his older son. I thought you were from Manila. I was born in the barrio. The farmer is my uncle. Here in the Philippines, we have big families. Is it so in America? Yeah, some. I have aunt in Manila. My mother was very sick. I had to make some money. No jobs here, so I go to Manila. I met a man named Smith. He treated me very nice. He gave me money for mother. How long have you been married? Oh, no, no. But he promised we would. He has wife and some children. I haven't seen him for eight months. When he went away, I had to work. I have no training. Did Santana tell you what I did in Manila? He said you were an actress. <laughs> That's a story. Just like my being an American. Or my name is Smith. Sure, I'm an actress. It's like Christina's girl. Hostess captain. I entertain men. They're only gentlemen. High class. I made good money. My mother. She would not move to Manila. She want to die here. Now I'm alone. Sorry, Lolita. Many people suffer. Not only in war like you. War had nothing to do with this. It happened three days before the Japanese attack. An accident? Yeah, if you call being crazy drunk an accident. We were on the officer's launch, headed back to base. You see, we got caught in the prop. Have you ever been plastered? Plastered? Yeah. Pie-eyed. Drunk. Oh, once. It makes me sleepy. 
Out of a boatload of drunken clowns, I had to be the prize idiot. Dove in with my clothes on. I was working on the prop. The boatswain accidentally started the engine. He was drunk, too. you like soldier? Okay. When can you count on for tomorrow? Well, on four, five, maybe more. Is that all the guns you have? With luck, we get plenty from the Japanese. We have a lot of uh, grenades, two silk machine guns in Kudoga. U.S. Army. Any other guerrillas in the area? Yes, but they are not patriots. They may cost. Yeah. When can we meet them? I speak to them myself first, huh? Maybe chop price. Nothing doing. I'll be there too. No more pig swindles. Oh, nothing like that, Captain. It's sort of a personal thing. In a way. Without saying goodbye, Lolita. Please take me. I'll be a woman. What? Please take me. Take me. Lolita, I'm not going on a picnic. I won't be afraid with you. When we get the general, we'll be coming back through here. I'll see you then. Understand? I'll be a woman? Yes, yes, Lolita, if you wish. I'm late.
later. Hmm? Morning. 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 Santana, you ready to move? Yes, Captain. Good morning, John. Morning, Doc. Uh, then I'm on my back. my pet. It's been a long time. Hey, you know, glad to see me? I've brought wonderful news, Rosa. I've got an American officer. He wants to talk to you. Hey, Rosa, now, Rosa. I should kill you. Hey, Rosa, what you do to me? Do you know how much you embarrass me in front of my people? I have no more pride left. Does this American know what a snake you are? Does he know what a snake you are? Yeah, easy there. Hold it there now. We've got important business to discuss. You are an American. How can you have anything to do with this? The fortunes of war. Thief. Bandit. Where is the money you owe me? Soon, Rosa. Soon. Soon. I have many expenses. Expenses? What expenses? For whiskey and for the women? Hey, the captain. If we help him, he will pay us. Is this true? We have agreed to pay $5,000 for the delivery of an American general. You want me to help? That's right. I have many men with good guns. And I am the best shot. I will take half of the money. Hey, Rosa. Half! Please. Half! Rosa, we can discuss that when we get the general. Now, how many men do you have? 50, 60, 100 if you need. We could use 50, well armed. That would be easy. We need them by 2 o'clock. We can be ready. Fine. Santana, tell the men where we'll meet. I'll explain the mission to you on the way. John! John! Lolita, what is it? Stop this! They've come! Killed my uncle and 
Mercury What? I'm promised to this bag of Mercury money. Lousy 25 bucks. We must get back and make revenge. Hold him, Santana. How many men would you say were there? Two truckloads. Men in machine guns. You'd only get yourselves killed. It's too late. We've got to move on and fast. Rosa, have a couple of your men take her back to a barrio where she'll be safe until we get back. No! No! Please save me! Alicia! 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 Look, I want you to go back where you'll be safe. You understand? No! No! Please! Please take me! Take me! The drug is just below the big acacia tree. We'll have a look at it. The train is coming from the central. Are you sure? The Duma? Oh! Still, yes. All the men back here. Let's take a good look at it. Haywire. John, they must have had delays. They won't return to the central until tomorrow. How many hours to make this run? About five, six. With two, three hours to load supplies, they could be through here any time after three in the morning. Well, it looks like we'll be here most of the night. Move the men on down to the river and relax. Santana, do you suppose they could rustle up some grub? Sure. Bananas and papayas. Fine. Hello there, Captain. Oh, hi, Santana. Hey. What do they call it in America? Cooling off dog? Yeah, that's what they call it, all right. Got a little hot. Hey, papaya? Yeah, don't mind. Thanks. Okay. Doesn't do much good to talk to you, does it? You're just a child, and there's only one way to take care of a child. Now, maybe next time you'll listen to me. Child, am I? No. Am I a child? <laughs> Again. Oh, 
Lolita, come back here. No. Go to hell. Lolita. Lolita, come back. Where's your home, John? Where do you live? I've got a U in American geography. Geography? Oh, I was terrible. I hated it. And a teacher. <laughs> you probably never heard of Montana. Montana? Mountain? You live in a mountain? Well, no, not, not right in the mountains. In the valley, on a cow ranch. Oh, you're a cowboy. Like Hufalum Cassidy in the movie? No, not exactly. But when I was 19 years old, I won the Montana State Championship rock riding. My buddy and I, we, we took two days to drink up my prize money. And when we sobered up, we found ourselves in Marine Corps. Your buddy? Is he here in the Philippines with you? No. No, he was killed in Nicaragua. Fighting against corrupt bandits. Tell me about it. Some other time. You better try to get some sleep now. I could sure use some. Good night, John. Good night. Move the men in along the track. Rosa. I think you can keep those caravan on the track long enough to slow that train down. I will try. Don't take any chances. As the train slows down, you head for cover. Look, there's a tree about halfway up that cut. Move the carabao under that. Better get rid of that artillery tool. Santana. Get all the men in that cane. Get, get them on both sides of the track. Yes, Captain. Okay, I'm going to get them Remember what I said. No chances. No chances. Get back to your man.
Yes, Captain. Get some of your men in those Japanese uniforms. Yes, Captain. Oh, my God. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There are a couple down here. Move them out. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yes. Nathan. Yes? You know how to run this thing? I used to. Come over here and run it. Santana, have the men in uniform take the same positions we found the Japanese soldiers in. Yes, Captain. Oh, yes. Rosa, move the rest of your men out of sight and keep them there. We've only begun. Give her full steam. Maybe a little faster, Captain. Captain, barricade ahead. Must be a checkpoint. Santana, get four men in uniform. Two on the controls and two to cover us. Slow her down. Stop if we have to. Santana! Make it look like we're prisoners. Everybody move back where you were. See, son, get her moving. Just outside the central. Rosie, you'll take about 30 of your men. You'll go in there. Santana, you will take your men this way. We'll take the train through as slow as possible. We'll give you a chance to get into position. When we're right about in here, I'll we'll give you two short blasts on the whistle. By that time, you should be ready for the attack. You understand? All right, get back to your men. Okay, see, son, take her in.
Are you a woman? Huh? I'm a woman. But I can still fight. <laughs> Glad to see you, man. Well, the feeling is mutual, sir. How'd you find me? Navy intelligence in Manila got word through Santana here. Captain John Larson, 4th Marine Regiment, sir. Brigadier General William R. Fuller. Were you hit, sir? I sprained it while I jumped. You guys take a hat. Oh, General, sir, would you try one of these? I would be honored. With your permission, sir, we'd better move on. By all means, Captain. Back her up! Make yourself comfortable, sir. Thanks, Captain. Thank you, sir. Santana, move all your men in that front car. Drop that last one. They give you a rough time, General? 
three days and three nights without sleep. But they didn't crack me. I'll leave in the school. By the way, General Albright will be on hand to greet you at Corregidor when we get in. Albright? Yes, your old school chum. West Point. Oh, yes, yes, I hadn't realized he made General Albright. I think you'll be a lot safer up in that car ahead of the engine. Your valuable cargo, sir. Are we going back through the central? There is no other way. Captain, what kind of tactics are these? We can't go back through the central. They'll blow us off the tracks. We've got to pick up as many men as possible, sir. They're not worth the risk, Captain. They can make their own way back. Shooting may start any time. You'd better take cover, sir. Captain, I'll hold you responsible. Yes, sir. You step on my toes, Captain. I may have to take over. If it worked for these men, General, you'd still be riding north. The jungle's full of them. Stop this train. We can't let them get away. Captain, I ordered you to stop this train. We can wipe them out in no time. You've wiped out quite enough, General. My orders are to try to get you back alive. Till that's over, I'm in command. I'll have you caught, Marshal, Captain. If and when we get back, General. Stop. Stop the bleeding? Yes. Captain, it would take the train three more miles to be closer to the fishing village I told you about. All right, pull up when we get there. Okay. Lolita. Lolita. Can you hear me? Lolita.
Dolph, give me some water. Santana. Rosa. From here on in, we'll travel light. We'll take about a dozen men. Send the rest back to their families. I kept in. Oh, uh... Rosa, tell them thanks. Oh, we're going to get him with us now. You know, I'm going to get him with us now. I'm going to get him with us now. Captain, I'm sorry. I must have lost my head for a moment. This ankle. Dolph, have a couple of men help him. Right. Captain, we're ready. All right, let's move. We're going to get that boat tonight. Ready? We must be careful in crossing this building. Kevin! I got arrest. My ankle's killing me. John, we will have to stop soon. There's a stream on the other side of this clearing. We can rest there. Send four men ahead to cover us. We'll go across in small groups. <laughs> We'll go across first. They're ready, Captain. Let's go. My was so rough. Captain, it's safe. How's it going? Critical. There's some things you've got to expect. Staff Sergeant. Sergeant Frank Powers.
Montana. Rosa, the sulpa. Get it on. John, I'd better address it first. I said get it on. Get the men ready to move. General, uh, what did you do with him? Dead, died. How did he die? Parachute broke his neck. I, I didn't kill him. So you decided to play general? <laughs> Captain, what about him? Drag him along. Hey, Sir Tyler. Hey, hey, Sir Tyler. Hey, hey, man. Hey, Captain. I figured this would be faster. Ah, uh, Nathan. Oh, no, no. We're going to move now. Mm -hmm. All right, see, son. broke his neck in a fall. I figured I had a better chance of staying alive if I put on his outfit. Three non-coms were killed by the Japs the minute they caught up to us. Can't you see? This piece of tin saved me. Why didn't you drop the act when we picked you up? How'd I know who you really were? With that steel hook, bunch of guys in Jap outfits, you could have been a lousy corporal. Knock it off, Sergeant. You could tell it to a court-martial if we get back. How do you guys take orders from that one-armed Marine, huh? Getting lousy officers and all alike. Give me a hand. Come back here, you yellow bellies. Come back or I'll blow your heads off. All you sit down up. 
It's up to you. And when I do, I'll blow you all to hell. You and your hook arm, Captain. Mr. Rento, I can put in. The sergeant. No, take over. Rose, keep moving. When you see the whites of their eyes. Three days and three nights. That's a matter. The sergeant got four. Amado killed the last two. How does he know there were only six? Have the sergeant buried first chance he got. Let's move. How is she? I'm afraid the fever is setting in. Any more sulfur powder on that first aid kit? No, Doc used it all when he redressed the wound. Queen pills? Yes. Give me a couple. The skipper, we are very close to the busy village. I go take a look. Fine. Lolita, these pills, you, you must take them. Lolita, give me the top of the canteen. Cover. Over here. We've got them the best. Hold it, Santana. Where to? A funeral procession is crossing the bay for the graveyard. I have made arrangements to join them. A jet patrols the area. We must be careful, fast and quiet. They have taken the village, but the Milo is so up to bay for the headquarters. Just how do you figure to get us across? You will be dead. Be what? Oh, I mean to say, Skipper, you will be going to play dead. We'll have to put you and Lolita into coffins. This is another one of your harebrained ideas, Santana. Skipper, aren't you ever going to trust me? Yeah, be right back. You have to move back. Get back! Santana, behind that tree. Look at the coming, with me. Closer. When their preparations are made, they'll come for us. Skipper, 
They're coming. Can you tell me You want to go to the house? Come in and buy the table. We have to go to the house. Santana? Quiet, Skipper. We are trying to work our way into the mill. We are almost there, Skipper. We'll make our way to the far side of the procession. As soon as we are out of sight of the town, we will start the motors. Well, that'll sure be music to my ears. Be on that ship in a few hours.
about three miles out. The ship should pass within a mile of us. Keep listening. And listen hard. Pull out, they'll be going like a bat out of hell. We've got to find a way to signal them. Season, get me about a half a gallon of gas out of the tank. Rosa, give me a hand. Hold on to her. Santana, throw me the black robes out of your boat. I think it's almost passing us. Have you got a match? I don't have any. Santana. I did have some. Grab onto it. Get the damn match lit, Santana. Ayan! Ayan! around the coffin. Oh, paligiran natin ang natawal, ha? Hey, it is, Captain Lost. Man, the luck of the Marines. Captain Lost! Bad hit. Bring a stretcher. Any luck with the general, sir? That's a long story, sailor. Lita, you're in good hands now. Take her to sick bay. Rosa, thank you. Thank you. See, son. Thanks. Salamat, Skipper. Skipper, it's a shame you're living. Things have been very exciting. Santana, if it were any more exciting, I'm afraid none of us would be leaving. Oh, by the way, you burned this. Were up to me, you'd get a darn sight more. You have taught us many things worth more than money. I'm afraid we don't need this anymore. No, but your families do. Let's hope soon you can use it. Good luck. Rosa, I think you have a new man.
So long, Del. Goodbye, Captain John. Godspeed. Santana. Hang on to this for me. With my life. 